Well, good Monday morning to you. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, hallelujah and praise God. I had such a glorious and wonderful uh, weekend out at LFBC. Also, Saturday afternoon, I was able to officiate a wedding for Chelsea and Derek Siegel. I want to wish you guys the best and just that God would continue to bless your your marriage. I just thank y'all for allowing me to, and my wife, Tanya, to be a part of it. Out at LFBC yesterday, we was able to have another baby dedication. And my little niece, Olivia Morgan Duncan, such a great and grand time. It was just a glorious experience as uh, Sister Amy, she uh, had her, her family was in and Brother Tracy did not have to work. You know, he's in NASCAR, so he didn't have to go racing this weekend. So it was just a great time. Everybody came together. It was Father's Day. So I hope that you and your father or the memory of your father was able to enjoy uh, this time this weekend. Well, this morning I want to talk a little bit about something that I touched on yesterday morning out at LFBC and uh, looking at our times and the society that which we live in and the way in which things are going. And you can see uh, how this slippery slope of morality and these things have really uh, gone further than that and we've really kind of fallen off the edge and I want to talk a little bit about uh, why people are not uh, responding uh, to the message of the cross and as much as we try to tell them before we do let us pray dear gracious heavenly father God Lord we love you we honor you this morning father we thank you so much for the wonderful weekend that you've given us father Lord God just let people understand the message of the gospel of your son Jesus Christ in his name I pray Amen and amen. Well, it's been like I said, such a such a uh, a wonderful time this weekend. But I I was really uh, thinking about this uh, yesterday morning early in about the five o'clock hour, and I was looking over some of my notes and talking about the book of Matthew and where it talks about the days of Noah and the days before the flood and how people were acting and the things that were going on. You know, we see in prophecy it talks about that the end of time uh, coming near when we start to see. Um, earthquakes and wars and rumors of wars and we can see all around us that the times are, are getting worse than they ever have we can see all around us that it seems that that the that the moral fabric the moral structure of our society is completely coming unraveled i use the uh, uh, the term yesterday, I said, like an old sock. I said, it seems like that, that one string has been pulled on, on that in which God has ordained for our society and it continues to be pulled by our government and by society as a whole and it's completely unraveling all that God has ordained and all that God has put in to existence for us to live and for us to uh, regulations and guidelines for us to go by to keep us safe, to keep us healthy, but more importantly, hallelujah, that are supposed to keep us holy. Well, in the book of Matthew, I want to look at Matthew 24. We're going to be in verse 37 through 39. I'll read it real quickly. And I want to give us some comparative of, of the way things are uh, now in our society and, and how the Bible is saying that they were in those days. It says in 37, but as in the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, there were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. And really this is talking about just an absolute lack of concern respecting the, the message that Noah was bringing forth about this coming flood, the prophecy about this flood that was going to completely take out, that was going to uh, do away and demolish uh, earth as, as they knew it. They had never seen rain before. They had never seen this kind of water before. They, this was this was ludicrous to them, right? They they can't they couldn't imagine anything less. So they had no respect uh, uh, for what Noah was preaching, what Noah was bringing. So they were eating and drinking and being married and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, until the day of the end, until it, until it was all uh, all but over, until it was too late. It says, and knew not until the flood came. And took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So really, they didn't believe the message until the water began to rise. Until until they saw the water begun to, begin to rise and everything was getting flooded. And here's this ark that Noah had built. And he had been preaching this whole time for years. The coming flood, the coming flood, the coming flood. People were acting like he was crazy. He was just a crazy old man over there building some boat that they'd never seen any need for, had no idea of what it could even possibly be used for, but he was preaching because he had the insight. God had given him the message and he was telling them, 
just as in the days of Noah. We see the same thing happening today. We're preaching the message of the cross. We're preaching the message of Jesus Christ. We're telling everyone we see, hopefully that's what you're doing, everyone we see about Calvary and about what Jesus Christ went to the cross to die for our sins so me and you could have eternal life with him and that there's coming a day that he is coming back. And that once that happens, it is too late. Once we die, lost is too late. Once he busts through those eastern skies, it's going to be too late. Just as in the days of Noah, the message was preached that the flood was coming and you better be prepared and get into the ark. Well, just as today is coming again, Jesus Christ will return. You better be saved or it will not be an eternity with him. It will be an eternity in hell. The message is being preached today. I'm giving you the message today. If you know not Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, hallelujah, today is the day of salvation. Be ye saved. Get you on your knees and ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Well, hallelujah. Praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warlick, and I'm the pastor. Let us walk Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? Know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.leonardsport.org for all of our newest sermons. Have a wonderful and blessed week this week. Go out and preach Jesus to someone. God bless you today.